New laws going into effect mean that in the new year, marijuana will be legal for recreational use in eight states, plus the District of Columbia. In states where pot is legal, doctors are seeing an increase in a violent illness. Dr. John LaPook takes a look. I thought I was dying. For more than two years, Lance Crowder was having severe abdominal pain and vomiting. No local doctor could figure out why. Finally, an emergency room physician in Indianapolis had an idea. And the first question he asked is if I was taking hot showers to find relief. When he asked me that question, I basically fell into tears because I knew he had an answer. The answer? Cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome, or CHS. It's caused by heavy long-term use of various forms of marijuana. For unclear reasons, the nausea and vomiting are relieved by hot showers or baths. They'll often present to the emergency department three, four, five different times before we can sort this out. Dr. Kenan Hurd is an emergency room physician in Aurora, Colorado. He co-authored a study showing since 2009, when medical marijuana became widely available, emergency room visits for CHS in two Colorado hospitals nearly doubled. In 2012, the state legalized recreational marijuana. It's certainly something that before legalization we almost never saw. Now we're seeing it quite frequently. Outside of Colorado, when a patient does end up in an emergency room like this one, the diagnosis is often missed. Partly because doctors don't know about CHS, and partly because patients don't want to admit to using a substance that's illegal. CHS can lead to dehydration and kidney failure, but usually resolves within days of stopping drug use. That's what happened with Crowder, who's been off all forms of marijuana for seven months. Now all kinds of ambition has come back. I desire so much more in life, and at 37 years old, it's a little late to do it, but better now than never. CHS has only been recognized for about the past decade, and nobody knows exactly how many people suffer from it. But as more states move toward legalization of marijuana, emergency room physicians like Dr. Hurd are eager to make sure both doctors and patients have CHS on their radar. Dr. John LaPook, John, thank you.